Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this kind of like rose gold makeup tutorial. It's a little different than the one I showed you guys on my Periscope Live. It's a little more metallic. I use kind of different products, but I love this makeup tutorial. I think it's really, really flattering. It's just really pretty overall. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer, and I'm going to apply that all over my face. I've been really liking this primer lately, especially in the winter, because it does give your kind of face a little bit of a glow. And then I'm going to use this NARS Illuminator, and I'm going to put it under my foundation in the places that I kind of want to highlight a little bit. I kind of want this to be kind of just like show a little bit under my foundation. After that, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I believe I'm using natural beige and a bit of porcelain. Um, it is the lightest shade and probably like a one around the medium shade. I'm just not as tan as I was in my last video because I did have a fake tan on in my last video. I'm a tiny bit darker than I am in my face. Um, so that's why my foundation is the tiniest bit darker, but I absolutely love this foundation. I think it's kind of like a medium coverage, but it just gives a very flawless look and it's not heavy at all. I'm now using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm an NC20. Um, I use a pump for my full face. Um, and I go in the places I kind of want to highlight as well because I use this as a little bit of a highlighter but also to cover any dark circles. Now I'm just using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I absolutely love this translucent powder. I feel like it doesn't give me um, flashback at all and I was going to a party tonight um, so I did not want any flashback just in case photos were taken. And yeah, but just, uh, just casually, I don't even know what I was doing here. This is just like I found this in my clips and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Um, yeah, but then after that, I'm just going to be brushing out my eyebrows and I'm going to start to fill them in. From MAC, I'm using the color Wedge Eyeshadow. I've been loving using eyeshadows recently because I've been feeling like it's giving you kind of a more natural look. But then I realized I forgot to cream contour. And I usually just not really like to hardcore contour, but just kind of to warm up my face a little bit. I couldn't find my actual mascara contour kit that I usually use. So this was a little extra thing that they sent me. It's a little more cool toned. So I um, went a little lighter on the cream contour. I was like just really realizing now that this was more cool toned. So I used just a little bit less than I would. And then I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like usual. I know I will be posting an eyebrow t tutorial soon. Um, I'm a little late on that one, but it's definitely coming. And then I'm just taking the same MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just carving out the bottoms of my eyebrows. And next, I'm going to be setting everywhere else I didn't already set with the translucent powder, except kind of like the places I put my concealer. That was a lie. Just the places I put my concealer. And then I'm going to go in with my Painted Earth Cosmetics Baked Mineral Foundation. I wouldn't say this is actually like a hardcore foundation, um, but I do apply the slightest bit just to the areas just to make sure my face isn't uh, sticky. So when I apply um, my Hoola Bronzer, it's not like really patchy and stuff because it's grabbing to all the wet areas. Um, but I'm just basically bronzing my face with the Hoola bronzer. Um, I'm not going to hardcore contour today, basically bronze my face, but that kind of does semi contour your face anyways. And I also you could tell that my scalp was whiter than my face, so I got to shove a little bit of product in there so it looks a little more natural. 
If you guys watched my last video, you uh, know why my contour kit looks like that. Um, but I'm just taking it, uh, the Kat Von D one, and I'm going to be contouring my nose a bit. I don't know why, but I have been hardcore sucking at contouring my own nose. Um, it just hasn't been working. Um, I don't know why, but we're going with it. After that, I'm using the Tarte Adventurous Blush. I usually go a little ham on the blush, and then I'm like, damn. Damn, I'm going a little too ham here, so I had to, like, blend it out. Also, I'm a little bit sick right now, so that's why my voice is a little groggy, but <clears throat> we're going with it. And then I am using the Becca Highlighter in Champagne Pop, my absolute favorite highlighter, powder highlighter. Putting it on the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit under my eyebrow, a little above my eyebrow, in the corners of my eyes, on the tip of my lip, on the top of my lip, and on the tip of my nose, and a tiny bit down it. Now I'm just going to be setting my eyebrows, kind of brushing them up a bit. I do like them to look a little more, I don't want to say hairy, that doesn't really sound that nice, but <laughs> just a little more natural looking, I guess. Um, and that is the face done. Next I'm using the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cupcake and I'm going to be putting that right in my crease. Next, I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Geek Mango Tango Eyeshadow, and I'm going to be putting that in my crease as well. Next, since the eyes are going to be pretty pink, I'm just going to be taking this Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and just putting it in my crease just to kind of like dim down the pinkness a little bit. Next, this is very optional, but I'm taking a Bitten Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm just putting it in the outer corners of my eyes. It's basically just like a dark purple um, and I kind of just wanted to deepen it up a bit, but it didn't make a huge difference. From Too Faced, I'm taking the Glitter Glue Insurance thingamajig and I'm putting that on my eyes and taking Rose Pigment from MAC. Um, this is a very, this kind of does already have a little bit of gold in it, but it's a very, very pink. Um, which I love this color, but it wasn't the look I was going for. So I'm going to be applying that Too Faced Glitter Glue once again. I'm going to be taking a pigment from Alexa Persico, and it's in bronze baby and it's one of their highlights and I'm just going to be putting that on top and I absolutely love this combination I think it's really really pretty like I was like oh my god <laughs> So I'm just going to be mixing these two colors we previously used in our crease. Um, you could kind of put whatever color you want on the bottom lash line. I opt for not a super super pinky color because I thought my lids were enough, um, but I just kind of wanted to keep it in the same colors we used. I was going to use these Velour lashes, but they were a pain and a half to put on. I'm not a huge fan of them. They look really pretty, but putting them on was just not my thing. So I use these MAC lashes instead. And then I'm just going to go in with the Lancome Liquid Eyeliner. I'm basically putting it just in the inner corners, but I also did kind of run it on the tops of my lashes just to kind of blend in any glue. And from Sigma, I'm taking this eyeliner in Polished and I'm just putting it in my waterline. It's basically just kind of like a white skin color nudish eyeliner. I'm just going to be lining my lips from Rimmel and this is in the shade Natural. And from Alexa Persico, I'm going to be taking their Victory Lipstick as well as their Lip Gloss in Naked. But yeah, this is the finished look. I absolutely love this look. I think it's very pretty and feminine. Um, if you guys liked it, definitely let me know down below and don't forget to like. I'm still kind of playing with my lighting a bit. Um, I do like the setup and everything, but I'm just kind of tweaking the lighting and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know down below if you guys want to see a specific tutorial, and I'll see you guys in my next video.